Thank you. Uh, great practice today. Um, you know, I obviously wish we would could have been in the stadium. Um, weather didn't allow us to do that, and wanted to scrimmage um, in the stadium. But uh, I think we, we kind of adjust the schedule, and we'll, we'll probably do a little bit of live work, um, you know, next week, early in the week, and then uh, obviously get to that spring um, showcase or practice or whatever we decided to do next week, uh, Friday. Um, you know, I, I think. Uh, Today was a good day. I thought uh, offense and defense had some battles. We put them in some situations, uh, backed up, had two minute, had some red zone work. Um, you know, guys, guys did really, really, really uh, nicely. I thought it was good to get uh, Jake Retzloff back and in, in, in the flow of things. He, he, I thought he had he had his best day today. But uh, Keaton and the boys still working, and, and the competition, the quarterback still looks good. But the um, you know, the rest of the guys getting a lot of rotation. There's, getting, there's a lot of guys getting a lot of valuable reps, and I'm really happy with how it's going and how the the offense is working. But the defense is what's new, and so the, there's a lot of a lot of uh, install going on, and um, the guys are really starting to take to it. And, and there's minimal mistakes, and uh, it looked really good today from the defense. I, I thought the uh, the amount of pressure that we got in there and, and disruption created some turnovers was really nice for them. So. Uh, Jay's doing a great job with his staff and with his defense. Take any questions you guys have. All right, Jared and then Jay. Kalani, kind of touching on what you were just talking about, um, at the beginning of spring, there was some talk just about the urgency for the defensive guys. This is a chance for them to really show out for the new staff and, and kind of earn their spots and their roles and, you know, each – each rep was important in that sense. How's it been watching the staff analyze the guys and just that urgency from the defense as they've learned the install and, and tried to you know get themselves in the best position to, to get reps on the field? Yeah, I mean, the defense staff watched all the film, you know, all these guys, and not just last year, even they played two years or three years ago, they watched every clip uh, that they played in the BYU uniform. They watched quite a bit of practice too. So uh, when, when we started day one, um, you know, Jay already had the guys, already had a, because him and the staff were already familiar with the players. It's now just giving them a clean slate and seeing how they can take to the coaching that, that we have uh, currently and, and the uh, the technique and the, the things that they're asking them to do schematically. Um, and I think it was a little tight at first because you're doing a bunch of install, but then it's also, um, you know, you guys are competing and then they're trying to impress the coaches and that makes them a little tight at the beginning. And then I think now we're, in, you know, practice nine. So I think the guys are a little bit more relaxed. They're understanding it. They've been in the classroom quite a bit with the coaches. They've, they've put in extra time. And, and I think today was a really good step forward for the, for the defense. This week, all, all together, I thought was really nice for the defense. And, um, you know, Jay, Jay's, Jay's doing a great job with them. And, and, and I'm just seeing a lot of, a lot of really nice disruption from defense. And, and I think it's going to really be nice to compliment to, to what our offense is doing as well. Now, not to take anything away from our offense. There's a lot of really good progress that we're making there. Um, just got to get, uh, got to get, get under, under, under understanding the scheme, um, all the details, all the little details that can make it better. And, and that, that usually starts from the quarterback all the way through, but they're, they're holding each other accountable and seeing some really good things on the field from, from all three phases. I thought kicking today was much better than it had been. And, you know, it's nice to see our kicker uh, in two minute situation, you know, kick some, some field goal winning kicks. That's what we had going on today. And I thought it was really nice. Sorry you guys didn't get to see it. Well, honey, I was wondering how the running backs look today and uh, your overall assessment of that group and if you feel good with the group heading into heading into the off season and then fall camp. Yeah, I, I feel really good with the group because you know, we know what Falau can do. Um, Ropati, we were seeing things that he started to emerge, um, uh, you know, later half of the season last year, but uh, really liked the addition of, of Aiden to the group as well. And, and uh, they're, they're coming along. Um, obviously, Aiden's doing all the drills, but he can't do the 11-on-11 uh, 11 -11 work. Um, Falau's doing some really good things. Um, you know, we've got to get Miles, and, 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 and it was tough because I think Soljay was doing some really good things, so he, he got injured. Um, but he'll be fine. So we, once we get everybody healthy and going, I, I think we're, we're going to really like that group all together. But, you know, it's just who's going to get the bulk of the reps, who's going who's gonna, to who's gonna be the top two, top three guys. That's, that's what we're working towards. And, um, you know, I, I, men, I mentioned what there's, – so there's Falau, there's Aiden, there's, 
there's Miles, there's Sojay, and now it's like, you know, Enix getting some, some really, now he he's getting some really good reps too, and uh, it's just seeing guys like Chase Hopkins and Luve, Helu, and others, uh, you know, try to do some, some work that, this is their new to the program, see how they, uh, you know, progress learning the, the offense and, and the scheme that, that and the technique that, that Harvey's demanding from them. Is uh, Mason Fakahua moved over to tight end? Yeah, he's he's a like H back, um, U back tight end type. Yes. Kevin and then Jake. Hey, Kalani. I think um, Jay Hill talks about wanting almost 100 percent, if not 100 percent, of the defensive scheme installed by the end of spring. Like, how much do you think you're there at at this point, percentage wise, right now? About halfway through, um, in, in terms of install. Oh, we got we got enough already, but but um, I, I know what he's trying to get done. He's trying to get film, and and, and it's you know when we're we're putting together our cutups and we're trying to teach through film, uh, we we want to teach it with with our guys in our uniforms, and so that's the uh, when we're installing the the the, the defense, it, it's not stuff that they're recognizing. But now when we get this all done and in all the, the practices in spring, we're going to be able to teach throughout the, the summer and going into fall camp. With our guys doing it, and 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 so I, he's trying to basically feed them with, through a fire hose, but that's that's just how it has to happen. And our guys are smart; they can take it. it just takes a little bit of extra work on their 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 behalf, and I think they're they're understanding what we. I mean, from today, what I see from today, uh, they're they're doing a great job with the install. I would say we're we're close to almost being complete with our install. And then you mentioned Red Slap, uh today having his best day. Um, is he fully cleared now for the rest of spring uh, to participate, or like, what's he at? You know, I don't know the details. All, all the quarterbacks are, are we're not we're not making them live, so you know, um, and and I just like that he was able to do a lot more today and uh, and and run the eleven on eleven part and be in the huddle and and, and go through a two minute situation. Um, you know, I, I think we, we've seen what what. What the other guys can do too. Kate Finnegan's doing some good things. Nick Billups, but it was just good to see and, and Ryder Burton. But it's good to see Jake. He hasn't been completely healthy, and now uh, today I think he did the most. And and he's got a live arm, really strong arm, and, and he's got a, a, this presence about him that's really confident. And it kind of it, it extends to the rest of the offense. Kalani wanted to ask you. With regards to playing on turf versus not being up to the stadium, as you mentioned this morning, is there any disadvantage to having being being indoors so so much so far into fall, spring camp? Well, the disadvantage is probably Rico because he's a great punter, and he, I mean, we, our indoor facility is is really tall and big, so most most punters like kicking in there because they can, they can their kicks don't hit the ceiling, but um, Rico's kicks hit, hit the ceiling and and. So it's, we're just trying to get outside because we want to cover the punts, but at the same time, I don't want him worried about hitting the ceiling. I want him to just kick normal and be okay with it. So that's the, I think that's the thing that bothers him. And, and we just want to get outside. We want to get in the sunlight, you know. And this, this, this is winter ball right now. We're trying to get the spring ball, you know. And, and uh, come on, guys, let's let's start praying some, for some good weather now, <laughs> so we can. We could, I mean, I'm a little nervous looking at it. We, we haven't even hit outside. We, I think we were on outside once throughout spring ball, and it was on the outside turf, you know, so I'd like to get on grass. And um, I don't know, it just feels better when you're on grass and, and playing the game, and, and definitely in our stadium. So I, I think the first time we're going to be in the stadium is probably going to be, you know, next Friday. And we'll, we'll just we'll be excited for it, but hopefully the weather allows us to do some things. If, if not, then... Uh, we'll have a great summer with with a bunch of water and nice green lawns and everything. Also, wanted to ask you about Eddie Hecker. He came in with Jay from Weber State. How's he fit in? How's he been as a cornerback for you so far? Awesome, awesome. He is such a professional and has so much uh, appreciation and gratitude for being here. Uh, he loves, and then the guy just loves football. He just loves it. So he, the way he practices. Um, I get nervous because I'm always trying to hold him down. He's like he's like what Puka did on offense when practice, just nonstop, want to go, and want to get in everything, want to hit. And uh, I, I love I love him in the group. You know, he he's a he leads by example. And, and today made some big plays. Today had a big pick in a two minute situation. And um, you know, the, the guys are really starting to feel more comfortable with the scheme and and, and the environment. And uh, the thing I, I, I like about Eddie is that his 
he's such a high level of appreciation. Just loves being here and says it all the time. It's just it's just nice to hear that from him. And and he, yeah, he's a he's a he's an accomplished guy. But you wouldn't tell by the way he works. He just works hard all the time. Mitch and then Jared. Kalani, well, wanted to ask you a question away from the scrimmage yesterday. I saw you with, uh, you know, talking with the president-elect Shane Reese. I'm just kind of curious your thoughts on uh, on President Reese being promoted to that role and maybe what the impact uh, he can have for athletics and, and maybe football program going forward into the Big 12. Oh yeah, I, 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 um, the the best part of my job here is, is that I get to interact with the people and. You already know I love the fans and I love being around them and I want to make them happy. But the other side of that is I, I get to work with wonderful people uh, here in the administration. And um, it's been an honor for me to work with President Worthen. And, uh, um, you know, I, I consider him a, a mentor of mine, being able to just, uh, I'm a better person because of his leadership and being able to learn from him and, and see it through his example and also things that he teaches me, just the subtle things that he even says, you know, it's, it's it has a, a huge effect on, on me as a coach and as a person. And then um, seeing the connection that we can have with everybody in, in the President's Council, you, you look at, the, at what um, I'm excited for, for President Reese and, 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 and his vision. I, you, you know it's going to be aligned with what uh, all the other presidents, especially President Worthen, has done here. And uh, I like that he was at Pro Day and, and, and the, uh, interacting with, with, the, with the players and, and everyone that are, you know, the, the NFL officials that were there. And, it was, it was a lot of fun to have. There's so many. There's a lot of people there, you know, and, and that was a, that was a fun moment. I know it put a lot of pressure on our guys to perform in the pro day, but it was just really cool that that, that we have uh, wonderful leaders and wonderful people that I get to be around, and and they have a you know they they have a, a nice influence on me and make me a better person. And that faculty, staff, everybody that's involved at the university, and definitely the fans. Kalani, I know you've been very physical. Um, this spring, have you managed to avoid like major injuries or injuries that might keep guys out this fall? Yeah, yeah, and, and, and I mean, you know, we're, we're we're still working with it, but I, I think the the key is having, um, you know, Dr. Main and Kobe Clawson and, and others involved in our, our training room, and just just ha just be, us being able to work together and. Um, and you know, just work smarter with our players. I, this has been a, um, a very physical camp, but at the same time, there's been deliberate attention paid to the, the, the details of how we how we work out, what time we, we do things, um, the type of nutrition, the breaks, the, the level of what we you know of, of intensity that we're in our in our practices. I mean, we have GPS systems attached to our guys, so we can see. Uh, we can gauge their, their heart rate and, and a lot of other things and see how much in, uh, output they're putting into the how if they're hitting high, max speed, you know, and, and that's we're, we're able to just get the most out of our guys because of the technology and, and the expertise that we have in our program. That, that's been key for us, but it's a it's a physical and violent game. And so things will happen. That's that's so we've been guys have been banged up, but nothing, nothing too serious right now. So we're. You know, crossing our fingers, and but at the same time, we we have a we have a job to do, and we can't we can't go into this this year and this conference, um, you know, easing into it. There's no such thing. We got to work and get out of our comfort zone and try to find ways to improve. And and, and so far, it's working. I also wanted to ask. I might be putting you on the spot if Towns sitting right there. I don't know, but you asked a lot of him last year. What's been uh, his evolution, just as a player, and as you've seen his growth? Yeah, I mean, well. I love this kid when when I was watching him, you know, play basketball. And we were recruiting him, and and he was dunking it with ease, you know. And and I just liked the way he was interacting with his teammates, and he did all the little things right, like hustle. You don't have to teach that stuff for, to talent. He's going to bring his energy, and he's going to bring effort. Um, but he's got tons of speed and athleticism, and he he overcame some adversity when he when he got injured, you know. And football was taken away from him, and and he since then. He, he he doesn't he doesn't take any day f for granted. You know he takes advantage of every moment, and I watch him and he just he enjoys enjoys being on the football field. And it's a pleasure for me to coach him. And I know Coach Hill and the rest of the coaches love what he does too. So we're excited to see him in this Big 12 conference schedule, and, and I'm excited to see him against Sam Houston State game one.
Awesome. Thanks so much, Coach. All right, guys. Appreciate it.